how satisfying is that though? Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I don't know if I've been hiding under a rock, but this stuff, this stuff. I have been trying it out. I've been wanting to film this review for like the past week, but I just couldn't get around to it because work, you know, that work life has been taking over. You guys have been really enjoying my foundation reviews. And of course, today we're gonna be adding a new foundation to my review catalog here on the channel. <laughs> I legit feel like I have a full like foundation review catalog. Like you can just flick through, flick through, you know, choose which one throughout like the past six years or so. <laughs> on the serious note guys, I feel like a lot of you have found me through foundation reviews and like foundation reviews have a close place in my heart and something that I've always done on this channel even though like I do change it up a lot. I'll definitely be continuing to do them. I do have a few products that I'm going to be reviewing very soon and I don't know about you guys like I feel like because lockdown is starting to come to an end hopefully I'm getting more and more excited about makeup even though you know sometimes it's really hard to keep up with all the releases because I know this has been out for a while and I, I've seen it. I never said to myself oh I'm gonna go and try this but I feel like because we're gonna start going back to normal life soon you know I'm just getting a bit more excited about makeup especially skin makeup for summertime because we gotta get the skin looking Snatched. Today's personification shout out is going to go to Zara Naila Fokina. So thank you so much for hitting the bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So let's get into this video. I'm just going to first use one of my favorite SPFs by La Roche Posay. Need a lot of this stuff. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. It comes in this really cute bottle. You have 50 ml product in here and I've got the shade 4W. It says it's waterproof, sweat resistant. It's a custom build foundation. It has a natural glow finish. It creates instantly flawless complexion from a natural nude glow to high coverage perfection. It's got ultra buildable coverage and adapts to every zone of the face and body. Formula resists workout sessions, water, extreme temperatures and humid environments. I'm gonna do a good workout today. So I'm gonna actually put that to the test because. I haven't really done that yet. And I actually didn't know that it was buildable, buildable coverage. Okay, I'm gonna put a generous layer all over because I do want a bit of coverage. And I found that this works really well with a brush, but it also does work with a sponge. And I'm just gonna... Blend this all out. How satisfying is that though? It has a really nice scent. It's not too strong. It just has that deal, you know, that deal foundation scent. I do love how it covers, like it can cover around my mouth area. It's covered my scars pretty well. You can still see a bit of it. What I do love about this foundation is that it's so lightweight and it just looks like skin. It makes sure it just enhances the look of your skin. <sighs> Guys. When I tied this, I even like showed it on my Insta stories roughly and so many of you asked like, what the hell are you wearing? And I was like, you gotta wait, you gotta wait for the review. It's so beautiful. I might put a little bit here to see if I can cover this scarring. Yeah, I wouldn't say like it's full coverage because if it's full coverage, it can cover this scar, right? But I would say it's covered at like 80%. So I would say it's like medium to full coverage. You can definitely get like a really sheer coverage. You don't have to put as much as I did. But even though I did put a bit, like it's still so lightweight. So that's what it's looking like. I mean, it's so pretty, right? Oh my God, look at that glow. Like this is gonna be like the perfect summer foundation. I do have the Forever Dior Forever Glow foundation. And I use 4W, so 4W in the skin, face and body is perfect for me. So I'm really glad about that because lately I've been buying some products for like reviews. And I'm been, I've been so off on the shades guys, like it's embarrassing. Normally I have it on point, but the last two foundations that I've bought have been way, 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 way off. So I was really happy that this one matched pretty well. So I'm going to quickly do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's my makeup done. I am obsessed with this foundation, guys. It actually dries down. It doesn't transfer. 
Um, and it dries down, but it still keeps a glow. Like, I'm not even wearing a highlight right now. Like, I've got matte bronzer, matte blush on. But it just keeps this kind of, like, really subtle skin glow that I love. And I love that it dries down. I do love a really dewy, dewy look, look. But I love that, you know, this one... I don't know. It just looks like skin, really. It's really lightweight. It blends really easily. There's a good shade range. You get a lot of product in here that will last you for a good while. You can build on your coverage if you want to. And I'm, I really do like my shade match. Everything just blends amazingly on top of it. And I just like this foundation, guys. I am obsessed. And you know what? I really like that it dries down without being like really matte or drying. It just sits on my skin so comfortably and... <sighs> I just I just don't have anything bad to say about it. I don't even get smile lines. I'm going to show you how this looks um, towards the end of the day, but it sits really well. It's long wearing and you can trust this stuff. It's now 8:42 a.m. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. I'm going to try and do a workout and we'll see how this looks. All right guys, it's now 4:31 p.m. Please ignore my oily ass hair. I'm going to go oily actually. I don't know what's wrong with it. Like I literally washed this like a day ago and it's so oily i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna put a bunch of castor oil just smother it in but anyways i wanted to close out the video now because i want to get this video up for you guys today but yeah like honestly the foundation hasn't even budged it hasn't budged like it looks flawless it looks a little bit glowy like i did do a few tiktok videos here and there and i was like literally sweating profusely and yeah it just hasn't budged and it looks so flawless makes my skin look so nice i will put a close up here but honestly you can just see a little bit of my scarring that can, has come through um it's a bit more uh, glowy but overall it's it's pretty good and it hasn't given me any smile lines it doesn't like cause any dry patches anywhere so yeah i'm overall really happy i definitely recommend it especially if you have dry skin like me but i feel like any skin type can get away with this love this guys i really wanted to share it with you guys 10 out of 10 i hope you guys found this review helpful let me know what i should review next give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join the family and yeah i will see you in my next video bye